Morning, y'all. Right, today I have an email from Chris. Let me get it. So Chris is student number three in the journey. You would have seen him on Monday night. So it's a long one and he sends a video and we'll look at the video today. So it's been a difficult weekend in terms of improving. I think mainly because I'm struggling to measure any sort of progress. I'm conscious that, may, that my hands are still quite high impact when I make every effort to let the club drop at the start of my downswing. So I've been trying to combine that with feeling of getting my hands back to a similar area at my address position. Am I going about this the right way? He's got a video attached. It's been a very frustrating afternoon at the range yesterday. Golf is hard, I need a cuddle. Help me, bruh, Chris. This is the journey. There's gonna be ups and there's gonna be downs. Lots of people thinking Chris was the man or is the man. I actually look at Chris and think how much potential he's got, but I also think someone moving at those speeds, that explosive will find it very hard to change. That kind of instinctive move. So I'm gonna dedicate today's vlog and the many other thousands of people who sent me videos making a very similar movement to Chris. So I'm gonna give him some drills. He's gonna watch, he knows I'm making this video today for him. Dedicated to Chris. This is his golf cuddle. Daily vlog styling. Right Chris, first drill. So not so keen on the way we see you moving forward, so pushing this way. What I want you to do is get up against like a wall, so put a wall say at the end of a cap if you can put one on and make a few back swings where you feel like you're not pushing your upper body and whole body this way. But in turn you need to do this, keeping your back swing and downswing from going this way, then on the downswing same idea as a feeling of dropping that club, laying it down and letting it go through. This will make you feel like you're going to hit it at the toe, like you're too far away. For you to not push forwards with your body, so to not go this way, you're actually going to feel like you're moving back this way. So what I want you to do is get that pressure in the ground, feeling more even, not going so forward onto your toes, feeling like your upper body isn't going this way, because we want to try and get everything moving this way more. This is only going to help. So these kind of ideas, cap up against the wall, feel like you're making a back swing where you're not pushing forwards. Look what I've got. Two customers at the breakfast bar. Say hello customers. Mm -hmm. hello. So question of the day, what do you do when you need a golf hug? But you could relate it to something else. Do you know what a golf hug is? No. Do you know what a golf hug is? No. So, you've had a bad round and it's upset you what do you do for your hug so some people might go to the range and practice more try and work it out some people might go home and sulk with their family all weekend some people might spend all weekend on their xbox <laughs> so what would you do for your golf hug go to the range what would you do gymnastics <laughs> Post comments down below, what do you do for your golf hug? Do you go and see a pro? Do you go to the range? Do you sulk at home? Do you do gymnastics? <laughs> office dreams. Look at this. It's not quite finished yet, but we have another putting green in the office. The boys at Southwest Greens are doing their funky stuff. Right, next idea for you, Chris. You look a little bit locked in your hips as you make your back swing pushing forwards, which obviously we're trying to stop. I want to try and loosen up your hips a bit. Let's try and get this right hip going deeper, further back. So don't be afraid if your right knee gets straighter in the back swing, even if it straightens out. Let's just get those hips moving back. We want this arm coming back more across your chest, almost on the back swing, allowing you to try and lay that shaft down on the downswing. Also, just by getting your hips moving a little bit more, we might just kind of mix up that transition and mix up that sequencing on the downswing between upper body and lower body as well. To get rid of this kind of turning shoulders, rigid lower half leaning forwards, obviously we're trying to get rid of the leaning forwards while at the same time, let's get the bit of hip depth, get the right hip, left hip turning, let that right hip move back. It's just going to shove everything further back, make it easier for you to lay the club down. And another little, it's just another little tip, trick, hug, if you like, to try and get control of that pitching shaft on the downswing. Let's get laying it down a bit. One more hug then Chris. So split hands. 
hand drill. Take your normal grip up the top of your backswing and stop. Then I want you to split your hands. So one down on the shaft, one at the top of the grip. Left at the top, obviously right down the grip. So once you've split your hands, what I want you to do is start really rotating towards the target with your body. Hips, shoulders, really start rotating them. But at the same time, feel like the right hand is pulling down below that left laying that shaft down. This drill's great for giving you the feeling of sinking the body rotation in a way that holds that club back. Splitting those hands on the club, do it indoors, because obviously you could if you wanted to start split handed so the club's not gonna go as high now on the backswing. Now you can feel that you're rotating your body well at the same time rather than standing that shaft up. Really feel it laying down. Whenever you do any of these hugs, these drills, these ideas, You've got to think to yourself, what are they doing? How is that feeling for you? Because we need to be able to take those feelings out onto the course. Let me know how you go, Chris. Lots of ideas there for you to try and control what's going on with your changes. It's definitely with the speed you've got gonna take a little bit of work, a little bit of drilling. It's gonna need to be drilled a bit. What do you think of my office, people? Post comments down below. Thanks to Southwest Greens coming around. Great job today, Warren. Good stuff. Drilling those holes out was not easy. The journey continues. We've got Aiden sending me swings. He's got some questions also about his driver as well, which we're going to answer this week, hopefully in vlogs, as well as meeting our fifth journey member, victim member, journey member, I think. See you all tomorrow.